Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rapping like that. Hey yo, Reed. Hey yo, Reed. Let's talk. Everything around me. Everything I see. Everything I touch. Robbery's a must. You niggas all blinking to you boys all stinking. We swim to you boys all stinking. Bag. The glad bag. It would dealt, niggas. Bombs over Baghdad. No trees. I'm with the V's. 23's on the breeze. 100 style on my sleeve. 40 in my neck. Keep the 40 in the neck. Take this 40 to the neck. We shorty for the. We shorty for the. Fuck the shorty for the neck. Spike Blue. Spike Blue. Spit up on this microphone. Version of Al Capone, I'm crown, I claim my phone. A hundred niggas crowding your home. Dirty birds in their hand. Dirty birds in your man. Your homie set it up. You got word, that's your man? Pots in the pans. Read, 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 read. Shout out to Illadell's Philadelphia's Reed Dollars. Uh, he's talking about retirement. As far as probably with Battle Rap, you know, he's crossed over to music now and things, but I wanted to talk about this because Reed Dollars has been one of the MCs who will always, 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 always be legendary. Reed Dollars, what he did as far as with Battle Rap from the old school days, battling in the streets or spitting on ciphers with 20 people behind him and everybody's going like this and they know every single bar. Like, that type of shit was legendary. Back, back, back. I know. The Rain Man, Hollow Man, the NH days. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the old, old school DVD joints. Cicero days. Reed Dollars was the one. Uh, came up in Philly. Got on. You know, battle rapper. He went, Reed was going viral before viral was viral. He was doing millions of views before niggas even knew what millions of views was. When battles used to come out on YouTube, one round at a time. Like, you would find a round, and then you have to wait like three weeks for the next round to be uploaded. That's when Reed's heyday was. I'm like, Reed Dollars then went on to, you know, dibble and dabble in the industry and things like that. He does music, but everybody wanted to see battles like Reed versus Rex, Reed versus Moot, Reed versus Sean. And while all of these battles did happen, I do feel like, hmm. All of them happened later than they should have, which led to the results of how they were. Um, Reed versus Rex. I got Reed winning. Not really a good battle. Uh, Shine beat Reed. Big battle for Shine. Uh, Reed versus Mook. Reed won, but it really wasn't a good battle. And it's because battle rap has changed. So the same ingredients that you take from like a 2014, 13 battle, you can't implement them now and things will go off like that. So, Reed Dollars is announcing his retirement. He says, uh, almost at the exit, I've done what I've loved for 20 plus years and finally at a point where I'm losing my love for this battle. Sh as a young kid came from Southwest Philly and conquered all of this sh with no financial backing, no major deals, just hard work, dedication, and determination and got worldwide recognition from the muscle. I have nothing left to prove. Now, when it comes to Reed, I am I respect the fact, you gotta respect the fact when you feel like you have nothing left to prove and you're at a point now where it's like, I could do something else, you know what I'm saying? He got family, I know he's got a wife, you know what I'm saying? He does his thing and he's doing good. Like, you could tell, like I follow Reed on Instagram and I see him making moves. He's got the album out that he just came out with a little, with a little flip. He's making more independent moves and he's just moving around, he's doing good in life and that's what you wanna see from someone. As far as the battle shit goes, if he don't really feel like he could, he wants to do it at a high level, he just battle ill will, he beat ill will. Um, Reed is one of them folks that when he first came back to battle rap, like after taking the, you know, the hiatus and returning, he was an enigma. A lot of people wanted to see what he was going to be able to do versus high level names. He took John, 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 beat him. But that was more so like a, yo, this is how the game is played now. Remember what I told you, when you first come back, from doing something from a long time, you're gonna learn the game the way it's played now, and he got kicked up and down the street. But Reed continued to battle 
and he continued to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like he he started to learn the infrastructure of battle rap. Like you got to kind of learn the game and know what's going on. He got wise. You know what I'm saying? He started learning how battle rap works nowadays. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't when he battled against Chess. Go check out Reed Dolls versus Chess. That's when he started to find it. That's back when niggas started was rapping with eight minute rounds. That's when Chess rounds used to be like six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes long with reactions. So when he started getting to the point where he was just stumbling and choking, he was like, ah, man, I think he's got 20 minute rounds. But anyway, so Reed found his footing after the chess battle. Then he bat then he comes back and he's battling against a Sioux Surf. He's battling against a Rum Nitty. He's taking, and people are like, yo, why is he getting Nitty? Ain't no way he gonna beat Nitty. He beat Nitty. He battles Surf, debatably, you know what I'm saying? It's a debatable. A lot of people got Surf winning, there's people that have Reed winning too. Um, what I will say about Reed is this, like, he did the smart thing when he came back to battle rap. He learned what was going on. He learned about bloggers. Area 51, everything in Nevada fly. I didn't know Reed, but Reed knew who I was because he took the time out to learn. This is what's happening in the game now. These are the people who's talking about battle rap. You know what I'm saying? There's a million bloggers out there right now. Let me tap in and find out who's doing what, who has, you know what I'm saying, some pull. I mean, people watch this channel a little bit. So, um, he did it all with no major backing, no um, big label deals, and Reed is one of them type of cats that, before you go, it's just before you go, I do have a battle or two, you know, you didn't say he was there yet, you said you're almost there. There's a couple of battles that I would definitely love to see Reed have before he leaves, if he's retiring. I know the battle rap retirement shit. When I read the post on Instagram, it seemed a lot more sincere than when other niggas in battle rap be like, oh, I'm retiring, and then you see them niggas on Gnome. No, I, I, got, I got the feeling that if Reed is talking about doing this, he's sincere and it's probably something he's gonna do. I would definitely like to see Reed versus Geechee. Uh, it's a battle that they have been talking about for a while. I heard that there's a card coming to Philly soon. Uh, Reed gets that billing. If not easy, but I think Reed, from a legendary perspective, should get that shot. You could put uh, easy versus goods in Philly. That would be fire, or easy versus Cal. Um, Reed versus Geechee, and then I would like to see Reed versus John John Part Two. The reason being is because Reed took his biggest loss to John John, and John John is like his stock is not as high as it was at one point. I'm not saying he's down, down, down in the basement, but after his battle with Sue, uh, Sue Surf battle, could do a little something to you. You know what I'm saying? Especially losing in the fashion that he did. And we haven't seen John John in a while, and I know when he pops back out, he's gonna be ready, but I would love to see Reed versus John John part two, and I would love to see Geechee versus Reed if those are gonna be some of his last battles. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if that is, he might find another love again, but he specifically said in his message that he's, you know, falling out, not falling out of love, but you know what I'm saying, he's not finding it as, as, as entertaining as he was. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know, he said, losing my love for this battle shit. Yeah, because the game is different. Uh, leagues are throwing cards every week, you know what I'm saying? You're seeing battlers battle every week, two, three, four times a month. I've seen Danny battle like three times a month and shit, you know what I'm saying? He battled so much to the point where when Danny had to cancel a battle versus clone because he's got Rum Nitty, people was like, oh, Danny backed out, he backed out, oh my God. I'm like, nigga, backed out? He battled every fucking week. Danny should never get hit with a back out tag, but this is what I'm saying. The battle shit is way different than when Reed first came out. It was not heard of for battlers to be battling every week, you know what I'm saying? Like or every three weeks or every two, it was, that was not the case. Back then a nigga would have 45 verses and they'll just go from hood to hood battling everybody. But that's a different era, you'll never see that again, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was like, oh, you recycle, you recycle. Back in the day, that's all niggas used to do was recycle. You go from hood to hood to hood to hood battle. I battle you for a thousand, I battle him over here for 500 at five o'clock, and tomorrow I'm battling a nigga on the east side for 1500, and I'm using the same raps in all three. It was openly accepted because there was no social media back then, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no, it, Twitter was around, but Twitter wasn't as prominent as it was now. Follow me on Twitter, Vada underscore Fly, tell your mama I said hi. Um, Instagram definitely wasn't around. Uh, follow me on IG, Vada Fly, you know who I be. Um, but yeah, those, those, those different avenues were not around back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So now you got a situation as to where everything you say, every single line, every single bar gets uploaded, gets talked about, gets broken down, gets scrutinized, 
And you can't use the same shit no more. Not saying that that's what Reed was doing because he's never done nothing like that recently in, in like, you know, the modern era. But um, I am turning on this camera to give Reed his flowers, to tell him thanks for the entertainment, to tell him, you know, thanks for coming back, for being a legend. Southwest, salute to Southwest Philly. Salute to that whole area over South Philly, Southwest Philly, that whole area, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's super hood out there. I got a lot of love in Philly, though. I fuck with Philly. Um, but yeah, so... I would definitely like to see Reed in a couple more looks. I'm just saying, just a couple more before it's all said and done. And then, um, you know, he can, he can mosey off into the sunset, you know what I'm saying? And then, oh, not to even mention, Reed was very influential in the resurgence of Philadelphia. Philly's at an all-time high. And I don't do the, he's from Norristown, he's from Han I don't do all of that. I do PA, you know what I'm saying? The state of PA. You got Bill Collector just won 100 bands. Easy to block captains on fire. Uh, you know, you still got Cassidy out there. You got Rosenberg. Rosenberg Raw is doing his motherfucking thing right now. He got a battle versus Drake Dennis. Go peep that shit. Go peep that. He said spray in the fifth. You'll see an AK at the garden. Like, you'll think Karolinko was playing the Knicks. I said, oh, God, nigga, what? Yeah, Philly's on PA in general. Is on fire right now. It's one of the hot zones for battle rap, and there's a lot of artists out of there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got K Walker. They got a lot of people out of PA, Philly right now. And it's good to see Philly getting that look because it's always been a loved, respected, gritty, grimy city, and they're not popping in battle rap. Like, that shit don't even make no sense. Like, what's a Harlem nigga with no bread? It's Philly with no battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit don't make no sense. That shit don't make no sense. So, to see them cooking the way they are right now is dope. Shout out to Reed if he's choosing to retire. You know, salute to you. You know what I'm saying? I did see, like I said, that clip that you posted with the with the bars that I was that I played at the beginning. You know, he said I made this battle rap shit before go viral before viral award, but there ain't no award for that. Salute to the general. Game.